Hey guys, welcome to another adventure. Can you see me okay? Yes, you can. I can see everything just fine up to two feet. Anyways, a little recap. Uh, last episode, or whatever, the first part of this Saving Private RS from the scrapyard. So, chose the weight reduction option. Uh, you saw me remove all kinds of different parts. I figured if I'm going to be doing repairs, you know, spark plugs, whatever, might as well start removing stuff so I have more access to the engine. Anyways, and then uh, that check engine light came back on. Code was for P5... let me check. Code is for P0507, which usually means a vacuum leak. So I went ahead and hooked up my smoke machine. Actually, we're going to turn it on right now. We should have some smoke maybe, or is it... Oh, it's not even hot. Okay, never mind. So, smoke machine. The way this works is baby oil inside here. This heats up, creates smoke. The smoke comes out this line. So we're going to see, we should see smoke in a minute or two coming out of here. Then you hook up uh, air. This is in the vise because we want to keep this somewhat level. Then you hook it up to the battery. So that's on. So now we're basically waiting on smoke. I see a tiny bit, but not enough yet. Then you want to hook it up. I chose unhook the fuel pressure line here and that's that goes straight to the intake and we we're just going to basically hook this up there and then you want to block off the throttle body or whatever exits you've got on your uh, intake engine right you know you could remove the brake, brake booster line whatever line you got into the intake manifold that's where you want to hook it up to so we're kind of em eliminated the evap system right that's the evap line here that goes underneath goes into the evap solenoid but that's blocked off right so we got the cruise control here and the evap blocked off here so this is doing nothing right now oh yeah look check this out look at this <laughs> you know what this is from right that's that pulley from from the ac compressor i always thought these these were too close to the cover but never seen this before so but so i was going to take this cover off and uh, take a look at the timing belt but now i don't have to it's actually nice it's not cracked it's a little bit stretched maybe for my taste but nothing nothing too bad so i'm going to leave that alone somehow i'm going to have to clean this up a bit and uh maybe just put tape over it all right looks like we got some smoke can you see the smoke yeah got smoke I'm going to hook it up, the intake, and look for smoke. It's already coming out of the uh, PCV system. I wanted to block this off. Guys, whenever you get a, a new rack and pinion, radiator, whatever, keep these plugs. They come in handy. Find the right one. It's too big. It's too small. There. Another one. Man, <laughs> what, no leak? Something's gonna pop. I don't see any smoke underneath the intake here, unless it's super small. I see nothing here under the intake, absolutely nothing. I hear something bubbling here inside the brake booster. This hose is so hard I can't even squeeze it. Maybe you'll hear it. Shh. Can you hear it? Okay, well, it looks like the intake is solid, no holes there. Let's shut this off. This is hot, by the way. Super hot. You know what? I give up. At least we know there is no vacuum leaks. At all. But for some reason there is. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. So basically what I did for this one, unhook the, the main fuel, you know, this line coming from the fuel tank. 
or the canister or whatever from the back, unhooked it, hooked up my own short holes, so the smoke would come in through the main EVAP line, which seems to be fine. All right, I'm gonna put all this back, put back the alternator, the belt, cover up this timing cover peak hole, remove the battery and do check spark plugs and maybe, maybe replace them. All right, guys, everything is back. Well, what needs to be back, covered up that hole with three layers of this aluminum tape. Good stuff. Spark plugs, they are pretty new. NGK Iridium good spark plugs and this one is kind of the best looking out of them all that's cylinder number two this guy here remember on subarus it's one two three and then four this one is has oil here so this tells me uh, that it's the valve cover seal this guy here is leaking a little bit no biggie on cylinder four, four, that guy there. And since they are black, blackish, this pretty much means that it's burning oil. This one is the worst, that's number three. But, but they're not that bad. I mean, I don't know how long, how old these, or how many miles uh, there is on, the, on these spark plugs. So, but I'm gonna put them right back in. And we're gonna move on to wipers. So like I said before, this is what they're doing. They're way too low. They come down too low. So that's as high as they go right now with them being off or down. And you can see the line on the windshield is right here. It should be somewhere, you know, here. I already loosened these up. That was pretty easy actually. All right, so what you do, if they're not coming up like that, you know, they're stuck with the nuts loose. You want to loosen up the nuts, you know, two, three threads, whatever. So there's just, you know, a tiny bit of space underneath and knock on the ball, not on the nut. And that's loose. Gotta change position. That's it. Done. These splines look okay actually. I'm just gonna move it down a bit to the factory position. Hopefully get it right the first time. These splines also look okay. Am I doing it the other way around? I think I am. Okay, now they're all the way down. I'm just gonna try them. Oh, no battery. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna put these spark plugs back on. Ignore the check engine light. Well, it's not on now. It's for some reason it disappeared again. And we're pretty much done underneath the hood. Besides the intake. Figure that one out later. And I'm probably gonna move on straight to those uh, rear trail arm, trailing arm, control arm, lower control arm bushings, the Jesus bolts. <laughs> 